the commitment ceremony of this gay couple a year and a half ago had all the trappings of an Indian wedding. But in a country that does not recognize same-sex marriages, it had no legal validity. I think the emotional part, I really wanted to call up her as my husband. Not only him, I mean, I, I, I would say my mother. So we are, we, my family accepted us, right? My, my, I, I want my mother to call Abhay loudly, proudly, legally as her son-in-law. The Supreme Court is holding hearings on petitions filed by several LGBTQ couples, including Abhay Dang and his partner Supriyo Chakraborty, to legalize same-sex marriage. Since they first met 10 years ago on a dating app, their journey has been like that of any heterosexual couple. As part of the relationship, we both have grown uh, in terms of, you know, you know, how to deal with things um, and, you know, just to value each other uh, more than, you know, uh, just ourselves, more than just, you know, our own individual egos. Now, they want the same rights as heterosexual couples. That includes things like medical insurance, health, in uh, you know, adoption, inheritance, none of those rights are available to us. Till today, if I need to, for, need to fill a form, I still need to check mark as a single, right? So this thing does matter in our day-to-day -day life. The pivotal moment that prompted them to approach the court came when both contracted COVID-19. You know, it just made us realize that life is very, very fragile and it, you can't really predict what may happen in the next moment. We cannot sign documents for each other. Let's say I'm hospitalized and I need somebody to make a decision for me you know, like about a surgery or something of that sort. So you would not be able to take that decision. The government has strongly opposed legalizing gay marriage, calling it an urban elitist concept that undermines social and religious values. Gay rights activists disagree. Here we're looking at people who want to be, um, who actually want to do something that society uh, holds a lot of value for, the institution of marriage, for example. Um, and in many ways, marriage does denote commitment, um, caring for each other, loving each other. While India is still a largely traditional country, petitioners have argued that societal acceptance will follow once law shows the way. Chakraborty said that since the court struck down a law criminalizing gay relationships five years ago, discussions about homosexuality have come more easily. People don't say the word gay not very quietly anymore. People, people are very confident to ha start a conversation about it. And I'm not just talking about the LGBTQI community. I'm talking about everybody in general. As they wait for the judgment, this couple hope that ceremonies like the one they held will count as a legal wedding someday. Anjana Pasricha for VOA News, New Delhi.